to directly use a green screen, the first thing you want to do is open up iMovie. You can do this in iMovie 2011, but not 2007. In iMovie, the first thing you want to do is enable advanced tools. To do this, go to iMovie tab at the top left of the screen, click Preferences, and then click the box marked Show Advanced Tools. Next, we want to import the shot in front of the green screen. Go to File, Import Movies, then select the movie that you want from your computer, and iMovie will import it. Okay, so now I have my green screen footage in iMovie. As you can see, you, wanted the, you want the entire shot to be in front of the green screen, or else you'll have weird edges in the shot. Other things you want to be careful of. Make sure that you're not casting any shadows on the green screen. This is probably the most important. Don't wear green. When you pull the key, if you're wearing green, you'll just become invisible. The next step is to get the background image. We call this a background comp. In this case, it's a picture of New York City. Let's drag it into the iMovie editing window. Next, we want to see how long our green screen footage is. In my case, it's 7.6 seconds. Now we want to change the background comp to the exact same time. To do this, go to clip adjustments and set the time to the duration of your video. For me, it's 7.6 seconds. Alright, we're almost there. The last thing we need to do is drag the green screen footage on top of the New York City background. We want to select the entire clip, take it and drag it directly to the beginning of, of the clip. Make sure it's on top and not in front of the background comp. So simply let go and click green screen, and you're good to go. That is a properly keyed green screen in iMovie 2011.